Hello everyone and thank you for joining me at my pyjama party and just for those of you that have been watching me for the last few days I can assure you that these pyjamas do go in the washing machine. <laughs> they went in yesterday so although it looks like I'm wearing the same pyjamas every day I do clean them. Right without further ado I had a request from Clara. Now Clara has another YouTube channel called um beauty is ageless 55 uh please go and check out her channel and she watched my video from the other day where i was using some of these pigments by um carla cosmetics and i asked you to request which one you'd like to see next and clara requested dolly now i did dolly on a live a few weeks back and I did this look on the live and it was actually not my look. It was something that I nicked off Instagram off the Carla Cosmetics um, page, but it's so worth repeating. So I'm going to go in with this. It's a really simple but effective look and the sun is hitting my face at a really weird angle. So I do beg your pardon, everyone, about the lighting, but it should settle down in a minute. Okay, so let's get in with this. Now, first of all, we want to start by using this P. Louise um, colour base. And this is in the shade Vivid Violet. I'm going to swatch this on my hand and show you what it looks like. Now, for some reason, some of these come out a bit runny and they don't mix very well. And I found that's a problem with this one. So you have to squeeze it a bit before you actually get the thick stuff. But it's a beautiful lilac colour and you know me and lilac. Right, so first of all, I'm just going to apply this with my fingers onto my lids. And you really don't need that much. So I'm just putting a little bit there and dabbing it. And then I'm just letting that just sit there for a minute. And then I'm going to go back in the other side half, with a clean finger and just spread it over my lids there we have it so that is this vivid violet and it's a cream base now I'm going to do another video about using pigments because they're so versatile and this is one way of using your pigments is to use them under a, a, over the top of a cream product because they really make some pop and what's really great fun is if you actually apply different colours underneath. So I'm going to swatch you first of all this dolly shade and I'm going to swatch at you with the, this colour underneath. And while this is sort of drying and going tacky, and then I'm going to swatch it also over the top of black, the black one that I've got. I've got a black one of these cream shadows. And you can see it looks completely different. So you can really play about with them. And it's where the artistic side of you will come out. So first you have the pigment on its own. Then you've got the pigment under white. Then the pigment under black. Then the pigment under Carla's Fix Potion, which is clear. And then finally, the pigment under the purple. Now, I took this under different lighting because that's the beauty of these pigments. They look different in different lights. So stand by for the other pictures. So I hope you can see that you can make some really interesting eye looks that all exactly the same shadow. Now this is crease because it does tend to do this because I actually tend to use this on the eyes more as a base. And I've been spending the last five minutes trying to capture what I can see under the white. I'm going to put a little bit more now that that's settled in because uh, it's faded a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit more of this on. 
because I want to go for the lilac look. All right, so just put a little second coat on like that. And then I'm not going to let it settle in the crease this time. And I'm going to go straight in now with Dolly, which you've seen in all its guises. Now I'm going to pick up my pigment brush, which, as I said before on a video the other day, I got these from um, Carla Cosmetics, but you can get them really cheaply on Amazon. You can get a pack of five. I'll put the link below and I'll put the link to the Carla one if you prefer that one. But the uh, Carla one is you get this one and this one for £15. But you can get a set of five, all the same shape from Amazon for just over a fiver. So let's go in now. And that what the reason that I like the silicone brushes is because it just picks up your pigment and it kind of attracts the pigment so it doesn't go everywhere when you're picking it up. It just picks it up. I need to just put a little bit more in the lid now for the fun bit. Oh, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Now I'm trying not to go up too high with this because when you're a hoodie, you don't want something that reflective going into your socket or it will just intensify the hood. It will just make it more apparent. So I'm sticking to, I'm cheating a bit of a bigger mobile lid than I have, but I'm staying away from where the dip is, the socket dip. So much easier to do it with a silicone brush. If you haven't got a silicone brush yet, get one. Whether you get the Carla one or the Amazon one, just get one. You won't regret it if you if you use pig, loose pigments. Also, really great for picking up the um, eyes to mesmerise because I find they're impossible to pick up with a brush. You end up either picking up too much or too little and then splodging it on your eyes. Right, there you go. I'm going to just close my eyes and let you see that for a minute. Isn't that pretty? So, so pretty. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a transition shade and a nice sort of neutrally um, shade and I'm going to put that in my socket. And I'm going to use today Charlotte's um, nude palette, the little nude palette. I'll show, you, I'll show you which one I mean coming up now. Okay, change of plan. I can't find those palettes and at the moment... I can't stand for long enough to go hunting for them. So I'm going to adapt. And this is good because actually it doesn't need to be a specific palette. What you want is some nude mattes. And what better palette if, if you haven't got the nude palette from Charlotte Tilbury, the six pan, to get to use this one, which is the Sophisticate. Come on, camera, zoom in. There we go. Okay, so I'm just going to use this. And this one here is a perfect transition shade. So I'm going to go in with that one first. Now you can use purple in the socket. But personally, you know what? When you're using such a beautiful shade like that on the lids, I kind of prefer to let it speak for itself and also have the contrast of the warmth of the neutral shade. But you can put purple in there, whatever you like. 
I would still use this even with the purple right at the top to just blend it out so you don't have a stark line. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of this one, which is very, very neutral. I'm going to put a little bit of that just in the corner. Again, just to really give me a shadow where I want it the most. Now I'm going to put the Dolly eyeshadow underneath as well with the liner brush that I have, which is this one. This is a, it's, I call it a brush. I've got loads of pigment under my nails now. They, they look filthy, but it's pigment, okay? Um, I'm gonna use a liner brush without anything underneath it to just take this underneath. And now I've got little bits on the lid. I don't even need to, to uh, pour out anymore because this brush will just pick it up. Do you see how it brightens up the under eye? Now I might put a bit of something darker in the corner as well, but I definitely want to get that scene in the inner corner, like that. And the other place it's really nice is to do it here. Now, did you know pigment is pigment? And you can even use these. I'm going to be brave, I think. Shall I be brave? Why not? I'm going to put a tiny, incy wincy bit as a highlighter, just so you can see what it looks like. But you can use these as highlighters. Can you see it's on the brush? I'm just going to tap a bit off using the back of my hand. Makes a beautiful highlighter. And I'm picking Jack up later if you watch my Instagram story today. So at least he'll be able to see me in the dark. Right. I am going to put on some mascara and some lipstick and I'll be right back. Before I put the mascara on, I'm going to use uh, Victoria Beckham's Fig Eyeliner. Right, everyone, I'm back and I've filmed another video in between. So this is the look. Um, what I did is I went in with the Victoria Beckham Fig Eyeliner and then I've put a couple of coats of mascara on, starting with um, the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Mascara and then going in with the Mac Stack Mascara and using an eyelash curler, which you're going to see in my next video. And... Then I went in with, on my lips, I'm really loving this. Um, this is the Victoria Beckham Lip Liner in shade four. They're all numbered ones, her lip liner. And I used that underneath. And then over the top, I used Posh Gloss in Aperitivo. And on my cheeks, I used the Wayne Goss um, blush in Vivid Azalea and... That's his blush. I'm going to put all the details below so that you can double check. And on my brows, I'll tell you what I put on my brows. So just have a look. If ever you're not sure what I've got, what I'm wearing, just have a look in the description bar. 
Thank you for joining me. Take care and see you all very soon. Love you all. Mwah.